other day I received this gadget through the post. It's an automated scalp massage device that is meant to help you grow hair. Led me to the obvious question, can a device like this actually help you grow hair? That sounds ridiculous, I thought to myself. Surely it's a gimmick, surely it doesn't work. But when I looked at the research, everything changed. And another question that was running through my head is, even if a scalp massaging works, why do I need a device to massage my scalp? I can use my hands, why not? So let's start by tackling the big question first, which is, where is the research evidence that this works for hair growth? And to illustrate that point, I'm gonna rely on two studies, two really good studies that were done in Japan and in the US. So let's crack on with study number one. This study was done by the prestigious Nippon Medical School in Japan, which carried out a very interesting study in 2016 to test the effect of daily scalp massaging on hair growth. They chose nine healthy men between the ages of 25 to 46 and gave them a scalp massage using a precise technique for 24 weeks. The scientists continuously measured the following. Total hair, hair thickness and hair growth rate. Interestingly, the scientists opted to use a scalp massage device rather than a manual method for reasons that we will explore later. To make the experiment completely fair, all the participants' hair was clipped down to the same length. So what were the results? Well, the results were spectacular. People who had no scalp massaging done had no change in their hair counts, hair density, or hair growth rate. But the people who had scalp massage done showed significant increase in hair thickness. This chart shows the significant increase in hair thickness in the scalp massage group. But changes in hair thickness was not the only thing massaging did. It did something else that was quite stunning. It actually changed some of the genes responsible for the hair growth cycle. This is incredible. But the First study, uh, a little bit on the small side, but the findings are unequivocally clear that a scalp massage actually changes the genetic makeup of the hair cycle, which is something I still find incredible. Now, let's move on to the second study. The study was much larger. Over 300 people with hair loss participated in guided scalp massage exercises for one year. The study was done by a joint team from the Universities of California and the University of San Francisco. All the participants had to submit detailed images on a weekly basis, as well as their own perceived changes in terms of their hair growth. Participants also had to report their dietary intake and any supplements or medications they took during the study. The study was different from the first study in that a scalp massage duration was much longer at 20 minutes and it was done by hand, so very tiring. The participants also had to follow a very complicated sequence of massaging every day. Six minutes of scalp skin pinches, six minutes of scalp skin presses, five minutes of scalp skin stretches. The main takeaway from this study is that people who regularly scalp massage reported greater hair growth. From this study, most participants stabilized their hair loss after about 36 hours and improvement was seen at around 50 hours of scalp massaging. It just meant you had to reach 50 hours whether you do that over one day, 10 days or 30 days, it doesn't matter. The people who showed the best response were those losing hair at the front and at the crown of the head. Those who had diffuse thinning all over the scalp responded but they had to put in a lot more hours. This study has an obvious limitation because it was not a double-blind placebo controlled study which is the gold standard. But nevertheless it pretty much confirms what the first study reported which is hugely exciting. An interesting phenomenon seen in both studies is an early small decrease in hair count with scalp massaging. 
This went away after about four or five weeks. And tests think this is because the massager knocks off hair in the telogen phase of hair growth. This is the phase where hair is resting and is about to be shed. So in other words, the scalp massaging just brought that process forward. Now let's unbox this particular machine together. Uh, this is, um, I got this from a UK company. I'll leave the details in the description below. Let's unbox it and let's see how it works. Surprisingly, it's actually very simple. What we have um, for the grow band. Uh, so the first thing in the box is obviously the, the actual band. Uh, this is what goes on your head. Um, this part will go towards the back of your scalp. I'll demonstrate how to put this on in a second. So that's the main part in the box. And you have this connector tube, okay? Uh, and then you have the USB charger, uh, and then you have the main engine of the device. So the first thing you need to do is, is very simple. You need to connect the band to the engine. And you just connect it using this tube that has a, a hole at either end, very simple, but you have to make sure you push the hole all the way in. Okay, sorry, the tube all the way in. And then one end goes into the machine, the other end goes into the band. Again, make sure you push it all the way in, and that's it, you connect it. Uh, now, the only slightly annoying thing is that um, this doesn't have like a normal plug-in that you can plug into a socket, but then um, you're gonna be carrying it around, you know, you wanna walk around with it. So it kind of makes sense actually uh, that you have this engine. And the neat thing is the, uh, the engine has a clip, so you can clip this to your trousers, to your uh, rucksack, so you can actually, it's a fully portable thing. So I actually take that back, the USB is a great idea. You've connected the, the band to the, to the engine. Let's connect this to a power source. Um, you put one end of the cable into the machine. And uh, now I have a power bank that I use for other things. So I'm gonna use this power bank. You're free to use, a, uh, to charge it. You can use a laptop, you can use something else, um, I think. And then uh, let me put this here. So you have all these buttons. It's very simple. There's a button at the top. You turn that on and the machine fires up. And all you do is um, you press play. So you can see the, the, the band is inflating and then it deflates and then it inflates again. And then it, it holds and then it deflates and then deflates and then you have that on cycle. And by the way, before I move on, you have settings here you can increase the frequency, you can change the frequency of the, the uh, inflation and deflation. You've got some buttons here. You can even save your setting. Uh, if there's a particular setting you like, you can save it here. Explain how you put this on. It's very, very easy. It has this knob at the back. Can you see that knob? And when you twist it one way, the thing gets longer. And when you twist it the other way, it closes up. So I have a head like a watermelon. I'm going to need it to be at the biggest size. So I'm going to open it. So now it's like nice and big. And you always make sure that the knob is facing the back of your head. So I'm going to put it on. Okay. And then I'm going to tighten it. I'm ready. I'm ready to get plugged in. Yeah. The moment of truth. I'm plugged in. I am ready to rock and roll. I've got my engine connected. Time to press the button. So there you go, that's, that's the little button. That you, I'm gonna turn it on. And then you've got all the settings and I'm gonna press, I haven't actually adjusted any of the um, settings. I'm just, this is as it came out of the box. So let's press and see what happens. It's, it's try. Okay, um, so it's like it's like a tight band all the way around your head and it tightens and then lets go. Yeah, you, you can definitely feel it's doing something. This is not like a gentle poke or anything. This is, it's like someone holding the sides of your head and really squeezing it a little bit. And I tell you what, 
if hair loss is giving you a headache, this is going to get rid of it. It's, it's exactly what you do when you have a headache and you kind of press your temples. It's kind of a similar pressure. It's actually really pleasant. Yeah, um, yeah. just keep watching the video. I'm, I'm chilling here. Does this work? What's the mechanism of action? The, nobody is really sure 100%, but there are two theories. One, one, changes in blood flow. The act of stretching the scalp seems to stimulate some sort of changes in blood flow, probably increases the blood flow. That's one theory. The second theory is that the act of stretching the scalp and contracting it again seems to stimulate some sort of um, inflammatory response that ends up in stimulating uh, in, you know, an increased thickness of hair growth. But either theory relies, the key part of that is that act of stretching the scalp is e extremely key. Is now, why do you need a device like this to actually do the massage? Surely you can do it yourself with your hand, just like in the second study. Well, there's two reasons for that. Number one is, uh, if you notice in the second study, they use a particular type of massage to achieve full stimulation. Uh, they're kind of doing it one way and they're stretching it another way. That's gonna be very hard to repeat for more than a minute. You, you try and repeat those six steps in the second study for more than a minute. You'll just lose track uh, you know, very, very shortly after starting. And the second reason is, if you look at the first study, you have to maintain this for up to 20 minutes a day to really get the maximum benefit. I mean, how can you really massage your scalp with your bare hands for 20 minutes? It's not gonna happen. So this is why a lot of the studies rely on a mechanical device because humans, we get tired and we get bored. That's the problem. Let me share an extra tip that I have seen um, used by some dermatologists and some other uh, experts to really maximize your results with a scalp massage or with a machine like this and that is to add some essential oils uh, something like the foligro oil that will work well or if you have another uh, essential oil brand uh, and the reason is a lot of these essential oils naturally grow hair they're completely natural and if you combine it with this if you for example use a machine and then afterwards apply the essential oil Apply the oil first and then go in with the machine, you are improving your results. So I've heard some excellent feedback with that method. Of course, I'm going to recommend the Foligro oil and I'll leave the details uh, below this video. But if there's another oil you want to get yourself, then you are free to do so. After seeing the scientific evidence, I've gone from a skeptic of devices like this to an advocate because the science is very clear. So if you are looking for a natural way to improve the thickness of your hair, you're not keen on medications or you wanna take a break from medications, then why not try something like this? It makes perfect sense. This device is not cheap, it's quite an advanced version. It's uh, currently, it might change in the future and I'll put the updated price always in the description. Currently it retails for $397, $397, but you get a hundred dollar discount if you join the waiting list that currently there's a waiting list because demand has been so high you get a hundred dollar discount if you join using the link uh, below so i'm not sure how long that's going to be running for so if you want to save a hundred dollars on this the link will be in the description below